So after driving 60 miles to, we have driven 60 miles back and are in the parking lot of Taco Bell because we just watched Tenet. It's great going to the theaters. Missed that. How long has it been? Six months. Six months at least. Seven months. I think February was the last time, right? Wow. Um, yeah, so... Oh, I think our food's ready. <laughs> so much so it's being back at the theaters i thought was a great time you still, you still got me yes okay it's like way behind i gotta like turn i know i want you to turn it's like a good angle from here. You like come from but here. this is a good angle it's not a good angle the Just... light is shining right on your rosy <laughs> cheeks my first impression uh, watching this movie was i really like this movie it's also i uh I don't get this movie at all. And I'm so glad Olivia was with me the entire time because she had no problem understanding this movie. She's taken many physics classes. She's generally just a lot smarter than me. And because the movie moves as she's nodding the camera. As the movie moves at such a fast pace, like there's so much editing and there's so much cutting around. This has like a structure of action and then Info, info, info with a lot of cutting around and a lot of sounds in the background. It's a loud movie while there's dialogue playing and there's plenty of times where you can't even make out the dialogue because there's so much sound around in the background. I'm like, man, the mixing on this is kind of rough. But even when I could understand the dialogue clearly, I still don't quite get what they're talking about though, even though I can now hear it. Thank God for social distancing space and because I had her explaining stuff to me throughout but it, it did get to the point where I'm like, I'm asking too many questions. I'm, this, a lot, this is just gonna have to wait till after the movie's done. The thing was though, I think that's actually a testament to the movie of how you can actually really like it, even if you don't get it. Watch the new Rockstars video on the way back. And I'm still like, I get it more. I'm still kind of confused though. So I really liked John David Washington's performance. I thought Robert Pattinson was really cool in the film. Man, that guy can act. Uh, the music was instantly captivating. I love the music in the film. All complaining about ADR and, and our audio mixing throughout with the dialogue. The sound design is actually really great still. I love the action scenes. Like there's some truly unique action scenes in this movie. No, watch where you're fucking driving. That's my car you're gonna hit. The action scenes are just so damn unique. You start thinking of like kind of Inception, but he's definitely doing different things working with this inversion theory everything about how that was captured was brilliant and i do overall as much as i thought like there was a lot of most of the scenes are just a lot of info i didn't really feel connected to the characters Aww. i know you did i know that's why i said oh oh i'm so glad you did oh sad for you i was just so focused and just trying to keep up with the information <laughs> it looks like elizabeth debicki's in this movie and she's kind of like the i, I imagine kind of like a film noir female character um, without trying to give too much of the plot away. She does a really good job in the film too. She's probably the biggest heart of the movie. She's the one with the most character richness. I felt a little bit disconnected from like the character experience aspect. A lot of that could also fall on the fact that I was pretty freaking confused through like majority of this movie. It was kind of like The Matrix for me. The Matrix is my all time favorite movie and I didn't get it at all the first time I watched it, but I still really love the, the mood and experience and the visuals. And I could feel that this is the kind of movie that even though I don't get it, I still really liked it for the mood experience and the technical landscape of it. I was really gripped by all of that. And even though I didn't get it, I'm still glad we drove over a hundred miles in total just to watch it. I know that even if I watched this at home and didn't get it, I would regret not having watched it in the theaters on IMAX for that visual feast. Kind of like The Matrix that even though I don't fully get it right now, it's one of those movies I'm going to become obsessed with trying to understand and I'm sure the more I rewatch it, the more I'm gonna love it. I really recommend it. It's his most cerebral and like, like really like, Going, even though it's completely fiction, it really feels like he's trying to ground this as much of a physics reality as possible. I'm glad Olivia was there to keep me updated around the whole time I was there. And but uh, I I still really recommend it, and I and I love going to the theaters to check it out. I really did. All right, let's go eat our Taco Bell now. You know, in movies, when a character says English, please and then they explain it for an audience member who might not get it. 
I could have used that like 25 times in this movie and it would have made it a lot easier to watch what was going on. I don't know how she got it so well. It was like 20 minutes into the movie, she's like, I know the plot twist. And then she got it. <laughs> <laughs> These grilled cheese burritos substitute with beans is delicious if you don't eat meat, by the way. Oh, can of brana. He was really good, too. He was good. I'm looking at the mic, not the camera. He was really good, too.